Right, Crick Buzz Chatter with the pink ball test. Yes, I'm wearing pink. Is That's orange. No, but that's Probably the colour of the ball right now. <laughs> it's like more orange than pink indeed. And of course, India versus Bangladesh. The Bangladesh bowled out 106 here. Was it the ball? Was it bad batting? What was it? I would say a combination of both. Yeah. In the sense that uh, some of the wickets, there were, there were technical inadequacies over there. You have to give, you have to say that. And uh, but you also have to give credit to the fact that this uh, this trio and just the fact that the kind of bowlers we have are outstanding. Um, literally, they were unplayable beyond a point, and uh, just the way they operated, they were getting wickets at will. In the yeah. end, in fact, Shami, I felt that he was trying to hit helmets rather than get a wicket because I, the guy was nowhere in absolutely. in Dhaka. He was in Sillet or Chittagong, and he could have bowled at Dhaka, yeah. and he could have got a wicket. I didn't think I would see a day when India's fast bowlers would be bowling and somebody would be backing away. We've heard stories of that in the past, no helmets, fast bowlers. But I just thought if Shami had bowled straight, he would have he would have got a couple more wickets. But he's second innings, Shami, you see, so he'll come back and bowl in the second innings. Just some thoughts on, on the pink ball itself. Mm -hmm. What I found interesting at some point, it's amazing how habits work, Ishan Sharma was polishing the ball. Now, the ball is made of lacquer. There is no wax on it. Mm. If there's no wax, you can't polish the ball. Mm. And that is why they put the extra coating on the lacquer. So it just shows you how hab habits go. Yep. But also, do you think the ball was cutting through a little faster? Because, uh, because of the lacquer, it was smoother. Maybe less air resistance, I don't know, it's my theory. But the bats, I, I spoke to Ajin Kirahane afterwards and he said, yes, the ball was coming on faster. The ball is feeling heavier. Look, that's one thing which they definitely mentioned in the morning, uh, just before toss, when I was talking to everyone. Because you I, you were not myself, just talking. You were not just yeah, yeah, talking. I was myself. I took the ball. I just it's wanted the to feel. The only time I have seen you bowl with a bent arm. I was just standing and just trying to feel the ball. And, uh, at the toss, um, Virat said that uh, catching is going to be tough because yes. a, it's coming quicker, and secondly, it's bursting through your hand. That is something which we saw even with Rohit Sharma. And thirdly. The way the ball was presenting itself, it definitely felt harder and heavier. Harder and heavier. So, you know, that, that's why I wondered. Now, a couple of batsmen not good enough late on the ball, you can understand. Virtually every batsman was late on the ball, not including Mushfiq Rahim, for example. Not the Indian batsman. No, I'm talking Bangladesh. The, yeah, the Bangladeshi batsman, yes. Because in India were bowling 10 15 Ks quicker. Yeah, of course. But even someone like Mushfiq Rahim late on the ball, could yeah. that be the same reason? Balls bursting through. I definitely yeah. feel so. I definitely feel so. I, I'm, I'm not a. Yes, I do like science, but I to explain that it was because of that. Possibly, that's the layman's yeah. immediate thought process. That yes, it is a lot uh, smoother compared to the other one, and uh, I don't know whether weight has to do anything with it. That's uh, yes, it is five and a half ounces, but it felt heavier. It did feel heavier. It did feel harder. There's a range, isn't there, from 156 grams to 158 grams yeah. or something? So it's on the heavier yeah, side. Yeah, and of that. everyone said the same. Everyone, in so much so that uh, R. Sridhar was mentioning that Riddhiman Saha. And Rishabh Pant were also finding it difficult, even with the gloves. I'm glad. Having said that, having said that, what Riddhiman Saha did with the gloves, I think he was a man of the match, along with Ishan oh. Sharma. I'm glad you mentioned Riddhiman Saha actually, because we've both seen Saha over the years in, in in Sri Lanka. He was fantastic. The ball was spitting, turning. That was something else. But this was like it was in England. As the ball leaves, it was just deviating. I remember saying on air, I think once I said he's diving to the left, he's diving to the right. But he always picked it up. Yeah, exactly. That's a that's a, a classic thing which has to be mentioned because people are good one side because it's your natural yeah. hand and you are very comfortable with that hand. But with him, both hands were equally comfortable. That catch which he took, which was dying, and yeah. some of the takes which were on the bounce as well. It was not as if they were going straight into the hand, just short of where he where he was stood, and then just to be able to take it so comfortably. That's off. Yes, absolutely. I mean, can you imagine being a bowler and you know you've got someone oh. like a Saha behind the side? I was very happy. You. You're absolutely right. I was yeah. very happy. I was again talking to Ashwin about it. Yes, sometimes you feel secure that once an edge goes, somebody runs at you, yeah. 99 out of 100, it's going to be pouched. Now, the one good thing about the play though, and uh, that, that should have helped Bangladesh in the period when Rohit and Chetakshar Pujara were batting, was there wasn't much due. We thought there'd be much more due. On another day, there, have, there was more due. And so, actually, we thought the bowlers should have done better. But I just thought Bangladesh were about 10k slower. 127, 128, 129. So, they weren't creating the same impact. And then, of course, after T, well, after the 20-minute interval, the ball started coming on much better. And also, Ashraf, one more thing. When, you're, when you don't have the pace, what you need to be very sure about is that your lengths are impeccable. 
you have to bowl the lengths which are needed for the surface. And again, we keep showcasing because you've got the gift of all that, that how much fuller the Indian bowlers have bowled. That is something which the Bangladeshi bowlers can take a leaf out of. So all the bowlers, there's no excuse for being shot at 125 kilometers yeah. per hour in that two to Indian batsmen. So you can see Cheteshwar Pujara doesn't play the full shot. He played it in front of square. So that tells you a story. Right. Now, Mohammed Shami was hitting helmets. Ajinkya Rane said afterwards when he pulls a short ball, it just kids on. It's a very difficult one to face. Umesh Adal once again picking up wickets. But Lambuji just keeps taking wickets. Five? Five? Uh, is that leg cutter worth mentioning? Because he Absolutely. seems to knock people at will. Because it's interesting. If you see the hand, he was, he was bowling that and then he bowls this. Yeah. And I don't think batsmen are picking it up. Nah. And also yeah. the way he's getting it to come in just from the right length. Um, and in fact, he had that smirk on his face when, um, if I remember, Naeem just moved away. Yes. Uh, and then he had, a, he had a look at the slip cordon and said, this one's coming. And yeah. the very next delivery, it just pitched slightly middle and off and took off. Yeah, I mean, at, at this level, you can't be hitting the stumps with the bat somewhere else. The ball has to beat the bat maybe by this much, maybe a little bit more. The bat's in a different frame. City. Yeah, it was, it was in a different, different city. It was different. It didn't, it didn't look good. I don't think they'd be watching, they would have watched the replay afterwards. Now, in the hot spot. In the hot spot. Another hundred? We're not going In the off I, yeah. I reckon. I, I reckon. So. Because, see, he... Play the puts, first 10-15 minutes, he's just looking set, right? Yeah, and again, that, that eye just starts gleaming. Ah, ah the, the glintometer. glintometer. The glintometer. Yeah, I just love that from him because, yes, he got a double hundred. But a couple of failures and you feel, Virat Kohli hasn't, you know, we've not seen him at number four on the run makers list. He's always at the top of it. So, I definitely feel that the yeah. determination is there and he will be the opposition. He just wants and knowing to Knowing him, he got a duck runs. in the last game. He's not going to go through a series like this. Absolutely. I thought his driving today, his driving is always excellent. But there was one straight drive. The ball came in angle of incidence, angle of reflection. Just went for four, was just gorgeous. He was Sunil Gawas in commentary with me. Literally was jumping out of his chair. He loves the straight drive. We all love the straight drive. So, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be surprised if he, does, if he doesn't go on and, and get that 100 now. Fast forward. Just 68 already ahead. I mean, how many days do you, at the end of a day, see the matches progress so much? Uh, two days now. No, nah. we, we saw that with uh, Afghanistan, but that was a completely different sort of a game. Uh, I'm just thinking, so if India get bowled out and if India have a lead of 170, yeah. still possibly never know. They didn't need, needed 30 overs to knock them off in this innings. In fact, uh, what 40, within 45 overs or 50 overs, for 13 wickets had fallen in a day. So you never know if India get knocked over. Uh, otherwise, definitely third day for sure. Given the over, given the over, it will probably go into the. Third yeah, we, day we also have to we also have to remember that uh, we are starting in the afternoon, so we cannot say that it will be done by afternoon. No, but why? Correct, it can't be. One of the reasons, of course, for the over rates was we had two concussion substitutes, right? That's going to be a topic for another day, of course, because that's a topic in itself. New Zealand are going through a concussion substitute as well. Uh, is it good? Is it bad? We'll, we'll, we'll as I said, it's a topic for uh, for another blog. But that took away a lot of time too. India well ahead and we're actually getting to a stage now where you're hoping for tougher competition. So, we'll be back with you on, on Krigba's Chatter.